if I put my hand in front of the beam at the Large Hadron Collider, <laughs> what would happen to my hand? Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. I... Oh, gosh. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Is the answer? Probably be very bad for you. I don't know the total amount of energy that would be distributed. I don't know the energy density. Not a good idea. Wouldn't recommend it. If I was to put my hand in the beam of the Large Hadron Collider, what would happen to my hand? Certainly wouldn't advise doing that. Uh, and the safety that we have implemented here is such that there's zero possibility you could ever do that. So let's make it a theoretical experiment that you actually did that. The beam itself is focused down very tightly. It's um, less than a millimeter across extremely intense. The actual energy carried by the beam is like a, an aircraft carrier in motion. I mean, it's a massive amount of energy there. So you really wouldn't want to put your hand in there. It'd make a hole straight through it. If I put my hand in front of the beam in the Large Hadron Collider, what would happen? What would happen to my hand? Right now, nothing. There's no beam. <laughs> when there's beam, it would hurt. Okay, there, there's, a, there's a, a train going through there at full speed, basically. That's the amount of energy that there is. So yeah, you would, you would, it would hurt your hand quite a bit. But it's not just that tiny part of the beam. The beam, or the proton beam, is accompanied by what's called a halo of electrons and some muons as well. They extend out quite far, some of which can be, you know, meters away. So there's an intense beam of particles coming down that accompanies this extremely intense part. So your whole body would be irradiated. You'd die pretty quickly. Uh, I think that the, the more it's going to burn right through you, basically. It's going to burn through that soft tissue. We, we can already, you can already see it. There's some examples where they put uh, metal in front of, of various beams and you can see the holes that it can make in it. So I'm sorry it would hurt. It would hurt a lot. <laughs> I have to say I haven't really thought about this very much. I don't think it would explode your hand. I can't see any mechanism for that to happen. It'd be more like a laser, so a very intense beam that would just go straight through your hand and destroy anything in its path. 